So um, this video, guys, is one that I've been really wanting to do, um, but it takes a lot of strength to do. So we're going to get into it and just get through it at this point. Um, I don't know who needs to hear this, but somebody definitely needs to to um, hear these, these words. So <clears throat> for a lot of people, um, a lot of people are in a season right now of, of loss of tragedy of grief um a lot of shifts are occurring um and when these shifts occur these shifts can feel like they're they're they're, they're just breaking you um and it's tough because <clears throat> people don't care people say they care people that are supposed to love you and that are supposed to really truly care about your mental health and your well-being and and your livelihood and your space on this earth when you need them the most truly when you're in your darkest hour when you are contemplating suicide or you are thinking about getting back on that drug that you know you don't have no business doing or smoking that cigarette that you know you don't have no business smoking or <clears throat> engaging in some type of activity that you know is going to bring you pleasure just because you want to feel good you know what i'm saying um it's tough because you 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 know we know other people go through shit that we go through but it's different when you're in that your moment and and you don't have that <clears throat> excuse me you don't have that understanding so um I wanted to tell y'all that I can honestly say it gets better. I don't, it, no matter what you're going through, and I know <clears throat> that sounds like such a blanket statement. <clears throat> that sounds like such a blanket statement, but it, it is. How do I know it's gonna get better? So, um, 2008, I guess is what we'll, we'll let this snippet start. Um, save the rest of the shit for the book. But 2008, um, I lost my mother two weeks after my son's, um, second birthday. And, um, <clears throat> that was hard to deal with, of course. And then that following year, um, I lost my father two weeks before my youngest son was born. And then <clears throat> that following September, my grandmother died. Um, so, and then I want to say the next year, it was my sister. The time frames get a little fuzzy for me after after about that point, but um, and then I lost. I was supposed to have twins, but I only I had one baby, so I lost a child. And all of this happened in the span of about four years, so eight, nine, yeah, three, four years. <clears throat> so those was hard, dark rough excruciating times and, and even now right now i'm in another one of those excruciating times kind of dealing with the the grief from you know some of those losses um because it's just that time of year but i survived them i didn't survive them in the best ways i did a lot of self-medicating um i did the um, pharmaceuticals self-medicating you name it sex drugs, alcohol, all that, um, the cope. And I realized that that's not, that's, that just wasn't it. I was killing myself. I'm still paying from those repercussions right now. So it gets better. I've survived some shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just a teeny tiny portion of what occurred in that time frame. So it's a lot of just 
bad shit going on in the world right now. And it's a lot of strong people who are on their, who feel like they're on their last bit of hope. Trust me, I know. I'm one of them who feels like that some days. Like, I just fuck it all. Some moments, some seconds. But I push through each one of those fucking times. I may not, it may be through a sip. Well, I mean, hey, but I'm not harming myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm not cutting. I'm not hurting nobody. And I'm not hurting myself. I know it's hard, y'all. I know it's hard, but I promise you, like, I survived it. You can survive this shit, too. And I know we get tired of hearing it's going to be okay and, you know, it's going to be all right. But the truth is, it is going to be okay and it is going to be all right. It, it is. You can't see that shit right now because you in the midst of it. You can't, you you know, you, you don't want to see it to a certain point because you got to feel what you're feeling and, and you're not wrong. But don't let a temporary pain or a temporary, because it is temporary, pain is just temporary. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. Because when I lost my parents, I just, I just knew I was physically going to die. Like, physically was going to die. Like, I just knew I was not going to be able to wake up the next morning <clears throat> and take a breath. <sighs> But that's not what we're designed for. We're not designed to let something, I don't give a fuck, even me losing my parents, it was not designed to ruin the rest of my life. It just wasn't. I'm, my DNA is too strong for that. Like, that's just not what I'm, I come from. I come from people who used to watch their husbands and their sons get raped and then the women would go patch up the men and go cook dinner all in the same two-hour time period after they done been in the fields all day. That's the DNA that I, I'm derived from. So that is nothing but strength. Like, that is just it. And you have to remind yourself what is in there. Like, what you, what your essence is. Not what you've been taught or what you've been taught to think that strength or grief is. But what your soul ties into your survival. And that's the thing that began to save me. And it's a daily journey. It's a daily struggle. Some years are better than others. I sail through that shit like it's, it's nothing. And then some days I crawl through it. Some months God just carries me through it. Because I, I, I don't know how I get through the day. I just know it's the end of the day and I ain't killed no damn body. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm happy for that and I'm thankful for that. So, I promise y'all, like, y'all need somebody to talk to, like, hit me up on God. Like, hit me up. Y'all got my social media handles. You're not alone. I'm fucked up too. I mean, we might end up talking to each other about some fucked up shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> but it's going to be okay, y'all. Um, I have a friend who's lost a child, parents, all that, like, and this woman wears a smile every day. Every day, every time I see her, she wears a smile. And I have the, you know what I'm saying? And we, it, it, you, you just have to change your way of thinking. You have to change your way of thinking, even about your own pain. But it will be okay. Feel, process, do what you have to do in the healthiest way possible. Get as close to as healthy as possible as you can. Do your fucking best. But don't give up. Don't check out. Don't do it. Because for the few people, the couple people, that the people that you don't even know that's rooting for you, maybe it's a stranger that follows you on Instagram and they, they, they see your story and they see your survival and if you off your fucking self, they looking for you like, damn, what happened? And when they find out you off yourself, they, you was an inspiration. It's somebody out there that you fucking inspire. They just ain't told you. They don't have the guts to tell you. I'm telling you, trust me. Hang the fuck in there because 
when it is your winning season and when things are, you know, more balanced or when you've gotten what you're supposed to get out of this pain, that other side, y'all, I promise you, that fucking other side is beautiful. But you got to get there. And you can get there. We can get there together. Because, bitch, I'm going to drink my way there a little bit. For probably the rest of the month. You know, it just is what it is. It's not what I wanted to do, but fuck it. It's what I'm doing. It's better than me drinking myself there for four, five, six years. Perspective. Perfect. Now somebody else is going to watch this shit. But like, oh my God, she's drinking to numb her problems. Hmm? It's a minimum. And that's fine with me. Because it's my progress. This is it. It's better than me missing work. It's better than me disassociating myself, detaching from my children, loved ones, relationships. It's, it's better. Better, better. So, hang in there, guys. <laughs>